Hey guys, August Young, DocSports.com, free pick video tool today. Uh, what a week we had. So I'm going to run through some stuff here. Coming off a seven-unit winner for Sunday, yesterday in the NFL. Did cash in with the Baltimore Ravens, minus six and a half. Really, really good football week. Um, six and one football week for $2,220. Uh, went 5-0 and on seven-unit plays last week. Uh, baseball won, hockey, winning start for the season there. I do have a seven-unit going in the NHL, 1 p.m. Eastern time, early start for this Monday. Uh, we had a 17-5 and all-sports week last week for plus $5,780. So overall, really, really, really good week. So I'm going to pull up the game. We're going to be looking at Monday night. Uh, going to take the NFL game here, and we're going to look at both um, the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. So when I pull up my model, that's the first thing I'm going to do here for you guys to let you know where I have the number, uh, and then we will go from there. So the current situation is um, I do see a small amount of value on the Buffalo Bills here, uh, especially at minus one. I make the line closer to three. I'm going to have a look at their current situation. Uh, it would be good if I could share my screen with you guys so you can see I'm kind of live capping this as we go. So the Bills, they're three and two, two and three uh, against the spread. And then you have the New York Jets, two and three, and also two and three against the spread. You know, the Jets, uh, they played Minnesota pretty tough, uh, lost 23 to 17 there. But there's I don't know about this team. There's too much drama, the whole Aaron Rodgers thing, the head coaching situation. Look at the Buffalo Bills coming off back-to-back -back losses. But, I mean, when I look at my quarterback ratings, I hated how Josh Allen looked last uh, last game against Houston. We actually had Houston in that. Um, uh, sorry, we had Buffalo in that game. And the ample opportunities, the coaching as well, uh, down the down the spread there, where they, uh, down the stretch, when they had the ball sort of in their, near their own end zone. Uh, worst case scenario in that game against Houston, we should have got overtime. Somehow they three straight passing plays when the score's 20 to 20. You give the ball back to Houston at midfield with about 10 or 15 seconds to go. And then, of course, Houston hit the game winning field goal. It's just awful coaching, uh, awful play from Josh, Josh Allen throughout. Saying that, I do still have Josh Allen ranked as the second best quarterback in the league with my ratings. Number one, I still have Lamar Jackson's. Uh, Lamar Jackson, then I have Josh Allen, and then Patty Mahomes third. Currently, Josh Allen, uh, Josh Allen, two point eight points better value versus an average starter. Um, he's already he's nearly closing in on a thousand yards. He's actually one of the top quarterbacks in my ratings, not already to close on the thousand yards uh, passing. Uh, but saying that, his rushing game is obviously good. His yards per carry six point eight. He has two rushing touchdowns. He's yet to throw a pick, which is impressive. Now. This game's an interesting one, but I do lean with the Bills. So if we actually look, I'm going to quickly see if I can pull up uh, a thing here with Josh Allen, which I did look at uh, the other day. So one thing I like to do, especially when it comes to quarterbacks, I do I do think there's some uh, signal with this and it isn't just, just a load of rubbish, is how certain quarterbacks do coming off losses, coming off wins, all that kind of thing. So if we look at Josh Allen, all time, he's 51 and 42 against the spread. Uh, his average cover margin is 3.71. He's actually fallen off with his uh, ATS performance, though, the last few seasons. However, if we look at Allen coming off uh, two straight losses, it's only it's only happened a few times. Coming off a loss, anyway, Josh Allen is 15 and 13 uh, for a plus 3% ROI. He's actually 60%, though, against the spread when he's coming off two straight losses. The average cover margin in those games has been nine points. He's actually covered in three straight uh, when coming off the coming off two straight losses. The last time was in 2023, a 32 to six win over these New York Jets. Then he had a 31 to 23 win over Cleveland, and then a 31 to 14 win over the Panthers. So he has really dialed it up offensively. That's at least 30 points in three straight games when he's come off two straight losses. So that's definitely worth taking into account. Um, going to also look at the weather situation here. Uh, just one second to see if we have any updates on weather. Uh, just loading up this now. So right now, uh, it's a windy game. So that, you know, I would be looking towards uh, the over based on what I just said. Uh, with with how I expect their their offense to come out. But with wind, it's not really something you want to look at. Um, I did talk about this previously on a, um, a live handicap I did, how wind generally is not what you want when looking at overs. For example, I'm going to pull this up now. When you have more than 10 mile per hour winds in the NFL, the under is hitting 55% of the time toward the under. 
And what about uh, one sec? So we have like 12, 13, 12 mile per hour at kickoff. If you look over 12 mile per hour wins, um, yeah, the 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 under is the way to go. So I, I'm not betting the under, but I wouldn't be taking the over either. There's a reason this fooled from 41 and a half, which is somewhat a key number, now down to 40. But yeah, I like the Bills. I mean, the fact that offense has dialed up the way it's done, I mean, I, I don't trust what I'm seeing with the Jets at all yet this season. I was skeptical on them coming into the year. Um, two straight losses there. I, I mean, just to do my due diligence, we did look at how... Um, Josh Allen had done off two straight losses. So we should probably do the same for Aaron Rodgers. Um, but it really just factors into my numbers, all of this. I'm just giving you guys angles to look at. But in general, this is just the fact that I set this near near uh, minus three. So how, that's just, that's how I'm going to look at it. But Aaron Rodgers off at least two straight losses. is only six and six when he's off two straight losses. So yeah, give me the bills here, guys. I like Buffalo minus one. That's where I'm going to take it. And like I said, if you do want a seven unit play, if you watch this video in time, I do have one going at 1 p.m. Eastern time here on Monday. We've just been crushing it in every sport. I mean, literally winning in every sport. And remember, free $60 account. If you're not already a client of Doc Sports, there is a link down below in the description. Be sure to grab that free $60. You can use that towards any handicappers. And if you're not a client of Doc Sports, absolutely free, including my uh, seven units today. You don't have to pay a dime because you'll get that $60. And the picks are only 30 bucks. So definitely worth doing. Thank you guys always for watching this video. I'll be back with more. Uh, again, sorry for the quality here. I uh, just got to do a quick film before I head out. Hope this was valuable. We can take the Buffalo Bills minus one. Uh, we can take them on the money line, but I'm going to take the minus one. Thanks guys. August Young, DocSports.com. I will see you guys next time.